your Thursday workout. So we're gonna warm up, we're gonna do some big arm circles, roll back those shoulders. Let's put the arms out now. Going back. Thumbs up, pinkies back. We're gonna cross and hug, open up, cross and hug. You do this standing or seated, wherever you're most comfortable, open and close. Good. One more, we're gonna hug, we're gonna do small spine circles. Easy rotation. Going counterclockwise. And we're going to switch. Today we're going to use light dumbbells, our ball, and a step if you can. If you do not have a step or a stair, you can just march. Good. I'm going to arch up and I'm going to curl down. Just wake it up the spine. Good. We're going to march, hands and knees, keeping your toes straight, picking up our pace now a little bit quicker, staying here for 30. It's a rainy day, so we want to get some steps in, right? So what I've been telling everybody is it's great to track your steps when you're at home. And spread them out throughout the day. So if your goal is eight to 10,000, keep checking different marks during the day. Say around breakfast, you should be about 1,500 to 2,000 steps. And just keep pushing it the whole day long. Three, two, one, reaching up, side to side. Let's go. Three, two, one more. We're going to hold on to our chair. We're going to do our hip circles. Up, out, dip it through. Five each side. Keeping my hips as even as I can. Let's go one more. Good. Go other leg. Up, out, dip, and down. Up, out, dip the knee through and down. Good. One more. Good. We're gonna warm up a little bit more with your skaters. Pump your arms. If you want a little bit more, you can hop with it. Otherwise, we're keeping it a wide stance. Pump those arms. Big step, kick back. Big step, kick back. Good. Just give myself a little bit more room. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back, back. There goes the rhythm. Forward, forward, back, back. Making sure I'm not slamming my feet down. Nice light steps. Forward, back, back. Forward, forward, back. Keep going. Forward, forward, back, back. Just trying to warm up a little bit more on this cold day. Forward, forward, back, back. High knee, and we're gonna hold. You hold on to the chair if you want. We're gonna go one, two, one, two, hold the other. Toes up, nice and straight. Switch. Up and hold. Toes up, knees up, as engaged. One, two, one, two, hold. Straighten it out. Good. Hold. 
Catch yourself, fix your posture. One, two, one, two, hold. Woo. One more time. Toe up. Good. One, two, one, two, hold. Good. Holding on to the chair. You're holding that knee up, that toe up. 20 seconds. Don't let it drop. Let's see where I am. Keep it up, don't let it drop. Abs pulled in. Good, five, four, three, two, and switch. Right leg up. Abs engage. Toe up. Don't let it drop. Keep it going, hold it. Three, two, one. Make that fist open, close, open, close. Fist, explode, fist, explode. Open, close, open, close. Good. Open, close, out to the side. Open, close. Push those fingers out, fist and out. Now let's go a little bit faster. Make sure our form's there. Good. Open, close. Back to that 90, 90 hold. 90, 90, and holding it. Soften the left knee. It's important to keep those hip flexors nice and strong. Abs are engaged. Good. Hold it. 10 seconds. Almost there. We're almost done with our warm up and we're getting going. Good. Switch. Left leg. Abs engage. Soft right knee. I don't want to have the back arching. Shoulders relaxed. Keep that toe up, nice and straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Open and close. Everything's warmed up and be ready to go. Make that fist and explode your fingers out. We're protecting our wrists, our elbows, our carpal tunnel, tendonitis. Good, out to the side, open and close. Your hands might be fatiguing. Is one doing more than the other? Shoot those fingers out. Good, shake them out. We're grabbing our dumbbells. Again, length to moderate weight. We have our threes. We're gonna squat. We're going overhead. I'm gonna pivot. Squat, overhead. If you're in a chair, you can sit up and press. Digging those heels. Keep going. You're in a chair. You're here. Press. Press. If you feel comfortable, you can tap the leg out. As long as you keep that abs engaged and no arch in the back. Press. Press. Pull it in. Squat. Press. Squeeze. Push. Squeeze it down. Push. Almost there, five, four, three, two, one more. I'm gonna put one dumbbell down, hand over hand, pivot. Control with your obliques. Back toe goes back and up. Good job, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to press and overhead. Press. Squat. Press. 
pull it down, push it up, back leg out, abs engage, into the nose, out to the mouth, up and overhead, almost there, squat, press. Let's go, three more. Two, one more. Good, those rotations. Pivot and control. Abs in tight, belly bends your back. If you're seated, we're sitting at the edge. Twist. I'm not going behind my back. I'm not over arching. Good. Keep going. Warm in here today. Our studio is nice and cozy. Good. Dumbbells down. On those toes, sit feet toe, walk it in place or walk it forward and backwards. Make sure if you're here with your balance, if you're very safe, you're holding on to something at all times. On those toes. Good. We're going to on our heels now. A lot harder. If you need to, you're holding on to something, forward and backwards. Easy, light step. Doesn't seem like much, but remember we talked about shin splints. We're working those interior tibialis right in the front. Back to your toes. Tippy toe, tippy toe. Looking forward. If you look down, you fall down. Look straight out. One more time. Tippy toe and back. On the heels last time. Just little steps. Same place if you want. Good. Even seated, just pulling your toes up, you can feel this movement. Nice job. Forward head, kick back, kick back. We got 10 seconds here. Grab a sip of water if you like. We're gonna grab your dumbbells. And I'm gonna pump. Kick back, pump. A little hammer curl, kick back. If you're seated, I want you marching your knees and doing your hammer curl. Find a pace that you feel comfortable with. Find a weight you feel good with. Almost there. Make sure you're with us. Good. We're gonna go to a step. Again, this could be a scary home. You can just be imagining the stair and up. We're gonna go step, curl. I'm gonna put that back foot down. My front leg stays there the whole time. Up, easy down. So this is a step up with no momentum. So I'm really isolating that front leg. Easy down. Good, it's low impact because I'm not slamming onto my back leg. We're gonna go one more. Good, we're gonna switch to the right leg. With the right leg, I want you guys to come out. Easy down and out. If you're concerned about balance at all, stay seated or we're marching and doing this. Great job, guys. I'm looking straight on so I can watch my form, keep myself nice and neutral. Two. One, I'm gonna put my weights down, I'm gonna hold that squat. Legs wide, take your heels and hold. Great job, guys. It is warm in here, but it feels good. Glad to not be in the rain. Hold it, hold it. Good, keep going. I'm 
going to take one dumbbell. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hang down. I'm going to pull it up my body overhead. If you have shoulder problems, you can just squat and high pull or just come up here. Other rest, we're going to come up and down. My dumbbell is sliding up my body. It's nice and close to that snatch up. Snatch up. If you're seated, keep going. If you're seated, guess what? You can do this too, as long as your shoulder allows. Otherwise, you're going here, or you're just doing a lift. A seated little deadlift, you'd say. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch arms. And down. Up. Once you see from the side, that dumbbell is very close to my body. Don't hit yourself in the face. Up and squeeze over my head. Not out in front of you. Close to the body. Let's go. Three, two, one. Back to that step. Take a second if you need it. Step up with curl. Ready, up. Leg stays on the whole time. Nice job, guys. Keep the arms nice and still on the back. No swinging. Great job. Again, if you don't have a step, you'd be marching. You'd be doing a single leg balance and holding these. Just keep moving. I actually use a big cookbook I've never looked at. I put it on my yoga mat, and that's my step at home if I'm not using my stairs. One more, and switch. Right leg, lateral raise, slow and control, not flopping onto that back leg. Protect your knees, make that right quad work. If you get tired and your form lacks, you stop. If you're seated, I want to see you do these lateral raises. Let's go. Two. One. Back to the single arm snatch. We're going. Down. Up and pull. Two. Three. Close that body. Four. Remember, if your shoulder says no, you can high pull. Deadlift and high pull. Awesome job, guys. We're almost there. Good. We miss y'all. Keep moving. Three, two, one, and switch. Down and up. When you get those legs involved, you make the dumbbell feel like nothing. Good. I'm using a pretty light dumbbell. They feel the legs help it, okay? Up and squeeze. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do now. If you feel comfortable on the floor, you can go onto the floor for your straight arm plank. I wanna show you guys on the chair. I made sure that this chair is nice and safe before we started. You wanna make sure that your chair is against a wall, in a corner, or using furniture that won't move on you. My hands are underneath my shoulders. I'm on my toes. My abs are engaged. I'm pulling in. Hold it. Now, if you're seated, I want you guys in those legs out and work on leaning back and pulling in your abs. We're holding in here for 30 seconds. Let's hold it. Abs pulled in. So you're either on the floor, on the chair, or seated, leaning back. Pull it in. Squeeze your tush. Don't let your neck compensate and hang. Five. We're almost there. Four. Keep going. Three. Two. And one. Walk it in. 
come up nice and slow. If you were on the ground, you can stay on the ground. And you're going to squeeze the ball in between your knees. I'll show you. Seated. You're going to lean back. And we're going to squeeze and release. If you're seated, same idea. You're on your chair. You're on the edge. You have your feet out in front of you. You're leaning back. And we're going to squeeze, squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Great job, guys. Squeeze. Now, up, squeeze, and down. Up and squeeze. When you go down, I want to make sure those abs are really pulled in. Good. If you're seated, you're just hanging back. And when you come up, squeeze the knees together. Almost there. Five. Four. Three. Two, one more. Now, hold it on the tippy toes. If you're seated, I'm going to have you stand or come to a chair. And you're going to, on the tippy toes, squeeze. Hold it. Pop that ball. 20 seconds. Pump your arms. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I want your lower abdominals feeling it. I want your inner thighs. Go. Don't let go. If I was at your house and I pulled the ball away from you, you're not holding it tight enough. I've been known you do that at class. Pull. And rest. Take the ball up and over. Up and over. We're almost there. We started a little bit late, so I want to make sure you guys get a full workout in. That was all about our camera angling. <laughs> Here for you guys. Toes up. And squeeze. Hands behind your head this time. Squeeze. Squeeze. Now twist. Don't let go of that ball. Pop it. Fill your obliques. Make sure you're thinking about the muscle that you're working. Inner thighs, obliques. Squeeze. Don't let go of the ball. Hold it. Three. Two. One. Going around the world with the ball. One. Go world. Again, you can do this seated or standing. Just gonna do other direction now. We get one more exercise. And you guys are gonna join Diane at 3.30, I hope. One more time. Good. We're gonna go down to that squat. I'm gonna pump the ball with my hands. Now, make sure you're flat. You're pressing in. We're going to keep our elbows in this time. Hands flat on it. Squeeze. Feel that shape. Upper body, arms, chest, abs. Everything's pushing. Push. Hold that squat. Just a little half squat. Dig those heels. Shake it out. Now one more of those. Hands on. Put your palms tight in the middle. And press. Elbows in this time. Hips back. Hold it. Squeeze that ball. Five. A little lower. Four. Three. Two. And one. Take the ball up. Down. To this side and to the other side. Good. One more time. Loosen up the back. Loosen up your hamstrings. Back to center. Up. Arch back. Great job, guys. We'll see you next week. Do you want any of this?